My name is Igor Alcantara, and I am the Director of Data Science and Education at IPC Global. Well, to define machine learning, we have basically two ways. One traditional definition is that machine learning is a software that can learn without the specific rules being informed. So I think it's easier if I give you an example. So let's say you want to automate the process of approving or decline a loan application. So the user fill out all of the information in your software will then automatically approve or decline that application. In a more traditional deterministic way, you have to program specifically every single possible scenario and rule. So let's say if the person uh, earns this minimal uh, uh, amount of money per month or year, has this minimal credit score and is married, not married, has kids, no kids. So there's a lot of rules you have to program specifically. Now, in a machine learning way, you don't have to program the rules. You basically feed the machine learning with historical data. And historical data is basically past data, data from the past, where you already know the answers. So let's say it's data from the past with loans applications and the decision that should be made, approved or declined. You provide that to that piece of software we call an algorithm and then the machine learning will learn the rules that exist. Don't get confused because the rules, they exist in the data, in reality, in real life. The difference is if you either inform the, those rules, if you know them, or if the rules will be discovered by a software. And that's the second definition of machine learning they actually like best is learning from data provided, the rules hidden inside that same data. That's a great question. The difference between a pure machine learning and RML. Well, this is how machine learning learns. How does a machine learning find the hidden rules inside the data, as I mentioned in my previous answer? Well, there are multiple ways. Each way is what we call an algorithm. And each algorithm requires that the data to be provided in a certain way. So in a traditional machine learning, you have to program all of the data pre-processing in order to input the data to the machine learning. Not only that, you don't know which of the multiple possible algorithms is the best to answer that specific business questions you have. So you have to try multiple of them. So let's say you pick like six algorithms. So you have to do that for those six algorithms. Um, they all six have to be trained and then you need to evaluate the performance of each one and then select the best one. All of that you have to program. And that takes like weeks or even sometimes more time to perform. So then your data scientist is doing less science and more programming. Now in AutoML, the auto comes from automatic. All of that pre-processing training and evaluation and validation as well it's done automatically, so you don't have to program. Doesn't uh, then eliminate the need of a data scientist? No, but it does eliminate the need for a programmer. So that's basically the difference. And then you save weeks or more time in your machine learning process. There's, I think, uh, maybe the key or most important question about machine learning. What is the main benefit of the use of machine learning? Because there is a lot of confusion here. Uh, if you study about machine learning, or if you know a little about machine learning, you might think, well, 
Machine learning is a tool that provides me prediction. So in other words, I feed data from the past for the machine learning to learn. Once the machine learning learn those rules, then it becomes a model. And then once the model is trained, I can provide data from the present to predict the future. So I could say the prediction or predictive analytics is the greatest benefit of machine learning. However, I disagree with that point of view. I don't think that's the main benefit. Because a lot of companies, when they see prediction, they think, well, that's not for me. You know, that's for other companies, bigger companies, or more data mature companies. That's not for me. However, if we go back to one of my uh, previous answers, when I explain how machine learning learns, then we get the real benefit. Because in order to learn the rules, the machine learning has to review all the hidden patterns, all the hidden rules that otherwise you may either misguided or you simply don't know. So to summarize and answer your question, the greatest benefit of machine learning is actually not the what, the prediction, is the why. It's finding how your business work, what drives a certain outcome, what drives a customer to cancel a subscription, a patient to be readmitted to the hospital. So those um, hidden patterns, hidden rules, finding, and then your business becomes more knowledgeable, it is in fact the greatest benefit of AutoML and machine learning in general. Interesting that you ask if machine learning is for everyone. Um, I would say almost. Um, you need a minimal level of data maturity. So I could be like full 100% um, like sales pitch and say, oh yes, it's for everyone. Eventually it will be, it should be, but it requires a little of homework. You need to be a minimal data maturity level, meaning you need to have data collected, uh, not only like in piece of paper, but it has to be collected in some digital forms, spreadsheets, database, text files, some form. If you have that, then you need to think, what of my biggest concerns? Um, what of my biggest gaps in the business? And then you can think about implementing machine learning. But even if you don't have machine learning or you think you're not ready, you need to have an AI, which includes machine learning strategy. So you get there eventually, because if you're not, your competitor is getting there. Okay, what do you find more information about this? Well, if you Google it, there's plenty of information, um, papers, books, um, articles about machine learning. Um, but if you go to the IPC Global website, in our data science page, it's easy to find, you find ebooks and material we're publishing. Some of them technical, some of them more designed for business users. For example, we recently published one that the title is basically the one that I described before, finding hidden patterns in data through machine learning. We also have webinars and other events that we always organize in presenting, etc. So there's plenty of locations where you can find resources, but I, of course, recommend IPC Global One. And always, if you have questions, if you want to discuss how your business can leverage the use of machine learning and the hidden patterns finding that it provides, you can always contact us and just let's have a talk and see how this can benefit you and your business.